A meniscus injury in the knee, a common workplace diagnosis. One that you see commonly in your everyday practice. Look for a twisting injury, a torque injury, especially with weight planted on the knee. This is a work-related meniscus tear. Let's look at this knee and define, for instance, a medial meniscal tear. All the same I'm about to tell you applies to the lateral aspect of the knee as well. First, you have to know where you're at in the knee. The anterior patella, a portal to the knee. Define the inferior pole of the patella with a mark. One finger breath below the inferior pole of the patella is the true femoral tibial joint line. Medially, it goes from the anterior aspect of the leg to the posterior aspect of the leg at about a 15 degree angle. Same laterally. Now let's take the palpating thumb. Along that sulcus, that line that you just delineated, is palpatory tenderness of the medial meniscus where, in fact, it is torn. Not usually anterior, but as you go along the posterior aspect of the tibia, posterior medial corner tenderness, palpating that sulcus with your thumb, a very positive medial joint line tenderness to palpation. There's a second diagnostic maneuver, time-honored McMurray's test. One has to palpate again the area of tenderness. This time the knee has to be moved through an arc of motion. One has to get to at least 90 degrees of flexion, maybe better, 90 to 100 degrees, then internally rotating the tibia by twisting the foot, then applying a valgus moment to the knee and extending the knee from this hyperflex posture to one full out in extension, almost pain along the medial joint line, a positive medial McMurray's test. There is a third diagnostic maneuver very popular today called a drop test. By hyperextending the knee momentarily, you gain the patient's pain response. Here you grab the femur, grab the tibia, gently flex the knee a few times to gain her cooperation, then simply let go and hyperextend the knee. In that hyperextension moment, a momentary pain response. If it's positive, you'll only get to do that once. They'll never let you do it again. Your documentation of the pertinent positives and negatives on your physical examination and findings is how you and Texas Mutual will define this work injury. Thank you for watching Workplace Diagnosis.